This is live nominations. Please welcome your host, Gretel Killeen. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Don't use all your energy up yet. Hello and welcome to Big Brother Live Nominations where our housemates have barely had time to recover from mighty Aphrodite's eviction last night before they head back into the diary room and stick another cotton bud in the nomination ear. Yes. <laughs> we will be meeting Aphrodite a bit later, but first, let's cross to the house and see just how much they're missing the girl with jewels in her navel for belly dancing and stars in her eyes for Merlin. <laughs> Hello, house. Mm. Hello! Hello, it's nice to see all of you. Now, I can't talk to each of you. No, is there a, what, the kangaroos there? Was there a bunny there or yeah. something? Yeah. Where's the bunny? Grab it. Oh, it's full of... All right. Oh, How do you know, Tim? I don't know that the RSPCA will be too happy about it wearing a G-string on its head. <laughs> and you've all got undies on your head or something? Yeah. You've just got bad yeah. hats on. Oh, isn't that nice to be thought of in that way? That's good. <laughs> now, what's the house like? Oh, well, let's go to Merlin. Where are you? <laughs> oh, Merlin, oh, if what? ever there's a boy who needs a hug, <laughs> oh, I would push my arms through the screen and give you a cuddle. <laughs> but um, have you recovered now? How are you feeling? Yeah, it's all good. Half an hour party in a few weeks when I get out of here anyway, so no worries. Rightio, very good. Now, another person who was mentioned in the message was you, Ashley. Yeah. How did you cope? I was really upset because Af was like an older sister to me, so I love her lots. Oh, well, I'm sure she misses you. We're actually catching up with her tonight. Hey. So she'll be talking all about you guys. Let's quickly see, Igor, how are you feeling? You talked last night about wanting to leave the house. Yes, I did. But yes. Didn't come through. Still no. here. It's still, what are you thinking? You've, like, sometimes nerves make you want to leave. How are you feeling now? You want to ride it through a little bit longer? Ah, we'll see how we go tonight. Yeah, if I go for nominations, I don't mind. I'm not fast. Ah, you got a bit tough now. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right, Terry, you've been talking about changing your personality a little bit in the house. Oh, I don't know about changing my personality. I think it's adapting to the situation, so... Yeah. Not ch you can't change my personality, but I can change things I can do to, to fit in. That'd well, be good luck with that. Thanks. And good luck with all of you on nomination hey, night. Yeah, Another yeah, scary yeah, night. Miss you, uh, <laughs> See you, guys. Bye. Well, that was a nice little song for someone to be singing. Right here. Now, you know every single housemate sitting there tonight is hoping that they don't get nominated. Every single housemate except one. Yes, one housemate has openly declared he wants to be nominated. Yep, Surfer Dad Paul says what he likes and likes what he says and is fully aware that he's cruising for a nomination bruising. I feel that I'll be nominated this week. I've just addressed a few issues that are close to my heart. Half of you don't even know the difference between a plastic item that gets recycled and one that goes to the tip and gets buried for three million years and doesn't break down. This is what I'm talking about. This is going to send me over the limit. <laughs> All right, can I ask a question? Who's an organ donor? I haven't registered, but I'm I haven't registered card. either. Pull, everything... pull, pull your heads in yeah. and get on. Yeah, none of us want to go. No, no, no. But, uh, and, and, and there's a huge list in the uh, hospitals that don't want to go either. Mate, it's a good argument you got there. <laughs> it's only logic. I'm merely discussing my feelings and feel that I think I'll be nominated this week. I'm looking forward to a little bit of change and, yeah, I'll be disappointed if I don't. You know what we really could do, just to try it? I know you want to work like a happy house. We could split it and we could have separate meals for a week, just to see how it goes, and drink every night, right? And you can sit down to your bullshit food, right? With your bullshit glasses of water, and we'll see who's happier. No, there'll be no division between the groups. Jeez, I'm racking up some votes. <laughs> the other housemates to recycle their plastic body bottom bodies <laughs> sorry for children at home to recycle their plastic bottles and their bodies but do they want to put him out with the rubbish Ashley and Aphrodite both gave him a point last week so let's see if Crystal wants to put Paul in her wheelie bin Crystal 
Hello. Who do you nominate for two points for eviction and why? Okay, two points go to Igor again. Uh, basically, my reasons are very similar to last week. Um, however, this week I find that because Igor um, spends a lot of his time sleeping um, and not very interactive with the group and with me, um, I just can't hold a conversation with him um, and I don't have much interaction with him because of his choice to sort of isolate himself from the group. I get quite annoyed with him sometimes and, yeah, and when I get annoyed, it makes me sort of like I'm not happy and I, I don't feel like I want to interact with the group because I go off and sort of like, you know, do a bit of wusa and sort of just calm myself down because I get angry with him. Um, I give one point to Terry, mainly because I find that she seems to always, if you have a conversation, when I have a conversation with her, um, I find a lot of the times if we've got different opinions, um, she feels that what her opinion, what her opinion is, is the right opinion. I don't feel like I can extend my conversation with her and she can be quite confrontational at times and that makes me feel uneasy when I'm with her, talking with her, because I, s I find myself walking away from a lot of conversations with her. Trevor. I uh, nominate two points to uh, Igor again. Um, I don't think he's um, pulling his fair share of the weight since he's been in the house. Um, and when he eats, he just leaves stuff there and just walks straight out and expects other people to clean up for him. Affects me in the house because I'm doing um, pretty much my share of the work and everybody else is, and I think they're doing more of their share of the work and I am too. And it just ticks me off that you're in a house with a whole bunch of people and you, you've got to do something like clean up at least or, um, or wash up. He's washed up once and I think he's cleaned the pool once or whatever. Um, nominate Paul for uh, one vote this week. Um, nominate him because you people or I try to I see him as a um, a very strong willed person and when you try to chat to him about something like um, I don't know shopping or something he's he's very hard to try and convince that like you can go without alcohol or you can go without such and such I just want to get along with other people and just have a nice comfortable time here and uh, just enjoy myself but when you're arguing about something pissy like alcohol and stuff, it just makes it harder on yourself and it stresses me out even more, so. Well, I wonder if he intended that pun. OK, what do you think of that? After the break, we will get the spin on the sins that make for nomination when I am joined by our first evictee, that aphrodisiac, Aphrodite. Woo!